When the possibility of freezing temperatures causes the need for winterization, it is best to leave the hose reel extended to help with the amount of water in your shroud. Two tools you will need to make life easier while winterizing your truck is a 5 8 inch wrench and a half inch wrench. Later on in the winterization process, you need to get all the water out of the hose reel. To achieve this, you can spin the hose reel backwards. While spinning the hose reel in the retrieve position without any pressure, you could unwind the hose off of the hose reel. The easiest way to make sure that that doesn't happen is to zip tie the hose back to itself, but more on that later. To release the water out of the water tanks, locate the water tank drains on both the driver and passenger side of the truck behind the cab, usually yellow handles, and turn down. Once the water is drained from the water tanks, leave them open and remove the cover and filter out of the Y strainer housing using the wrenches mentioned before. Note that the Y strainers should be cleaned daily and even more frequently than daily when using poor or dirty water sources. Supplied air system. Throughout the truck, there are air purge valves that need to be opened completely to get the water out of the system. To open the air purge valves, you will need that 5 8 inch wrench. The first valve shown here is under the control panel. There are two valves located under the hydraulic water cooled heat exchanger. Also, three located on the water pump itself. Before purging the system, you will want to reattach the Y strainer, filter, and cover. In this video, you will see Mike opening the valve to allow the chassis air to fill and pressurize the auxiliary air tank for the blowdown system. Once the aux air tank reached pressure, Mike opens a second valve to release the air pressure into the water system, in turn blowing the water out of the system. Take caution, at this point water should be shooting out of all of the air purge points and the hose reel itself. Make sure there is not a nozzle on the end of your sewer hose. To help the chassis air keep up with the demand needed for the blowout process, it helps to throttle the truck up a little bit. During this process, make sure the butterfly valve that turns the water on and off is in the open position. Keep running the air purge system until no water comes out of the various air purge valves. Any water in your system can damage the jetter system in your truck if it freezes. Be patient, this process can take a while. When water, or water mist, is done blowing out of the system, you can then go back around and start closing your air purge valves. In this video, you will see Mike retrieving the hose reel to help spiral the remaining water out of the sewer hose. If all this occurs while the air purge is still pushing air through the water system. Once all of the water is out of the system, throttle the truck back down. Close the auxiliary air tank fill valve, and once all the air is out of the aux tank, close the air purge valve. Attach the sewer hose to the hose hookup located on the hose reel, retract the hose reel back into the truck, and switch back to the road mode. Then when back into the truck, turn the PTO off, and off you go.